Oh, I'm not ready for this. Oh, okay. Crack my knuckles. Crack my neck. Time for fish fry. Woo! Oh, that looks funky. Hell yeah. And even though this boss, this kind of scene starts off the same way as the, uh, the fight and the t uh, water temple, <laughs> instead of being the easiest boss in the game, it's actually the hardest. Oh no, you know it's coming. Watch out, Lincoln's right behind you! Meets the gargantuan masked fish, Georg. And I understand that Gott and uh, Odawa had masks on, but I don't really understand what kind of mask Yorg is wearing. Alright, so as you can tell, this is what you're going to want to do. Do that. And you're going to want to do a hit and run combo. Because Yorg is going to be right after your ass, and he's actually might actually even be a little bit faster than you. So you're just going to want to do that, and you're going to want to repeat the process. Alright, good. Don't let him, uh, if you can, don't let him ram into the platform, especially whenever you're that close with the arrows. Because he will, uh, he will run into the platform, and if you're too close, he will knock you into it. And this is where I said it'd be really good to practice up that dolphin swim, because he's gonna get me right there. Oh! Had he not bumped me, I would have been able to make it in. And after he bites you once, you do have a little bit extra time to actually just pull yourself up. So don't try to dolphin jump right afterwards. Can I get a Z target? No. Shoot the giant fish. By the way, this, uh, something that was kind of irritating me earlier. I know this is exactly not the right time to be talking about this, but, alright, so he, he's low on health, he's about to produce some, uh, uh, yes, yes, all YouTube audience, in case you weren't very sure about the reproductive organs of fish, that's how fish reproduce, through their mouths. Oh yeah, you can actually stun him like that. I forgot that you can do that. Haha, <laughs> die! <laughs> Who needs arrows whenever you're just badass Zoro magic? That was actually a pretty good Gorg but you are fight if I do say so myself. I thought I'd, I thought I'd have some ring rust there after not fighting for so long. All right, so if that's Yorg's mask right there, what does Yorg's face look like? That's my big question. And by the way, uh, I know this isn't the right time because we're actually one whole temple uh, past it. Did I not save the last time? Wait a minute. I just realized I'm one heart piece short. Hold on. Did I not save? Do I have to do that? Rupee bag. Where's my rupee bag? For the love of God, if I didn't save that one time where I did the Sculptula house, I swear to God, I'm gonna freak out. Do I have the up all night mask? Yes, I have the up all night mask. Alright, for some reason I don't have one of the heart pieces from the old granny. The, the I don't know one. So that's why that's why I'm short of heart right now. I'll have to go back and get that. I'll get that off screen for you guys. I guess you're kind of uh, wondering why I don't have that. Alright, that's not the time to be worrying about that now. But man, I need to learn how to save. You have seized Georg's remains. You have now freed the innocent spirit and the dark mask had kept in prison and within the body of evil Georg. Alright, so it's Adawa, Gat, and Georg. And just for people out there, I know there's no really correct way to pronounce it because there, there's no voices in Zelda games, so you can kind of pronounce all the names, you, the way, whatever you read them. But Gat's name is Gat. It's not Goat, it's Gat. And we got another giant over here. Hey, listen, we want to lend you uh, us your power. Actually, that's Tattle's voice. Why am I doing some masculine? If you just leave us things as they are, something terrible will happen to this world. Surely you're the, one, the only ones who can stop it. That's what Tal was trying to tell us. 
I get it. We have to help the last one. Then promise us this. You'll cooperate with us. Kind of making the deal with the giants. Alright, what is more ugly? The giants in this game or the giants from Harry Potter? Or the New York Giants? I don't watch football, so I don't actually know what the New York Giants look like or how they play. Now I can continue resting in peace. I too must abide by the laws of the ancient times and again merely watch from my deep slumber. But the evil that haunts this land has not completely vanished, Dizzy. I shall depart after enjoying Lulu's voice a bit longer. I think the gods can permit that. <laughs> I don't even know if that was supposed to be a laugh or not. Yeah, well. We'll do what I'm about to say because I've been playing too long. But, you know what? There's one more thing I want to do. I mean, I think I've earned this. It's now that Lulu's voice is back. And where's Zora? I think I've earned this before I go to bed. Miku, you came back safely. That's good. I was surprised when my voice... <laughs> when, her, when my voice turned that lonely island into a turtle. But that song you played for me, my mother used it to sing it oh, so long ago. Those eggs were laid to remind me of that. Or because I knocked you up. That song was from when I was a very young child, so I had forgotten it. I've put you through so much experiences, Miku. But I'm all better now. Well, the town's concert is very soon. Let's start our rehearsal. One, two, three. Ah, and that's some nice jazz music to go out on. Kind of makes you feel good. Is it really a Link's position to kind of still pretend to be Miku? I mean, because... I mean, sure, it kind of sucks that Miku's dead, but just pretending to be Miku, that's kind of worse, because then after Link eventually leaves, I mean, you can't pretend to be Miku forever. I mean, they're just going to think that Miku ditched out on all of them, which, I mean, I, I guess would be, I, that, in my opinion, would be worse, I guess. It's, instead of having an honorable death. Ah, but who am I to judge? Alright, before I forget... The most important thing that I don't want to forget is, after all that trouble I went through with the stray fairies, I really don't want to miss out uh, on getting my reward. So one, you can try to dolphin jump or fail like I did. Or, oh uh, wait, there's a way to do this. Oh uh, wait. There we go. Alright, that's kind of mask jumping. Um, other way to get there is you can go up that way and you can hook shot, but I like my way. It's a little it's a little dirty, but I'll, I'll still use it. Alright, so now we're going to want to hook shot. Because I want my prize. I'm not I'm not leaving out I'm not leaving without it. So over here is probably the most well hidden great fairy fountain out of all of them. And we're gonna bomb this. Alright, that's good. Fairy fountain. Or fairy's fountain. <laughs> Alright, now we have a blue fairy. Which kind of makes sense, Ocean. Our courageous young one, I am the great fairy fountain of courage. Thank you for restoring my broken and shattered body to back to normal. As thanks, I shall lend you my strength.
And our defense has strengthened. Enemies now do half damage, which essentially means that she just multiplied all our hearts by two. So now that our hearts have that white thing around them, that means our hearts are twice as strong, which is awesome. <laughs> In case you guys didn't know, that is awesome. Uh, so yeah, we're pretty much a vamp now. Um, uh, don't expect any more deaths, in my opinion. Or else, unless I really decide to start sucking. <laughs> there shouldn't, hopefully it will not be any more deaths. Alright, before I forget, I, I cannot forget to do this because I went through all that trouble. I'm heading up to the mountain village because I'm going to do that frog choir. I am not going to forget to do that and then restart the cycle. So, I mean, I like doing this like I did this. So you don't have to... So you won't have to go through the water temple twice, you know, and go get the frog. Or go halfway through the temple to get the frog. You know, that's why I like doing the frogs right before doing the water temple. So you won't have to do it all in one shot. You guys know what I'm talking about. So we got all our frogs here. Let's talk to this frog. Well, if it isn't the great Donguro, shall we sing once again? Alright, unlike Ocarina of Time where you have to play a really kind of painful frog minigame, this one you just have to collect all the frogs and you're good. The conducting was spectacular and all the members rose to the occasion. This is the how deeply we are moved by your spectacular conducting. And we get a piece of heart. That is pretty sweet. Our maximum life energy has been increased. Let us do it again. Alright. There's one more thing I want to do before cutting off this recording. I'm really hoping my computer doesn't crash from having too much recording on it right now, but I'm going to risk it. Heading back to Great Bay. Possibly the last thing we'll ever be doing in Great Bay, guys. Because after this part, we're going to can't Akanya. And... I know this is going to sound a little bold for me just saying this right off the get, but the way I'm going to do Akanya is going to be probably different than any LPR out there. Um, especially, uh, there, like, alright, so, in Akanya there's going to be, uh, I'm just to say there's the well in Akanya, which is like a very kind of pain in the ass thing, and my way is going to be kind of difficult to do, I'm going to admit. And it might not even work, but I'm going to give it a shot. But if it does work, it's going to be awesome, and I have not seen anyone else try to replicate it. So, look forward to that. But right now, I, I failed to read that sign, but I just I just saw a boat and just jumped on it. What can I say? Um, this is actually taking us to a mini game, uh, And that mini game is right over there. And um, up until this point, we haven't been able to get on there. And as you can see, there's the kind of pedophile dude that was uh, we talked to earlier for the, the sea ores. And this minigame sucks, because every time you fail at it, you have to redo this boat ride and the hook shot. You gotta time the hook shot out really weird, just so you can get it. There we go. So you gotta shoot a little bit early, you gotta kinda lead it. Now that the seas are back to normal, I've started a little business aimed at tourists. If you pay 20 rubies, I'll invite you to the jumping game. That has a really big prize. I <laughs> wonder what that's going to be. If you can go to the center of the island. Alright. So, this is the jumping game. Kind of the most painted. I'll explain the rules, so listen carefully. Just jump to whichever one has the lit torch. You get a point. Get 20 or more, and we're good. So, yeah, we'll give it a try. Great, I'll start. Alright, this is a real big kind of pain in the ass because you can never really tell which one is lit. Because the, with the N64 graphics, I know it's even going to look even worse on recording. So, I don't see any of it. So it must be down here. So this is just a big pain in the ass type thing. And if you fall, have fun swimming all the way back and having to jump back up here. So just take your time. You have plenty of time. You don't want to get in a rush and screw this up. If I screw this up, it's probably my controller's fault because I'm using a really, really weird Wii controller that I've complained about before. All right, so yeah, plenty of time. I almost have 10 right now, and I still have a solid minute left. Oh snap, that's not the right one. All right, yeah, I, I still have a solid minute left, and I only need 10 more. 
So just take your time. Time's not against you. Pretty much the main way to fail this is by jumping in the water. Oh, which I almost did there. And if you do get 20, um, I just probably wait it out. It's over there. See, I can hardly see this. I have bad eyes to begin with. I don't need to try to make out some really crappy N64 polygons. Uh, down here. Three more. Oh no. I only need two more. Don't screw me, game. Oh no. It's like, the closer I get to 20, the worse I get. Alright, I'm gonna go 21, actually. I don't know why. I know it's... I know it is... You only need 20, but I'm gonna get 21. No. I want 21! Ah, screw it. Ah, oh, that's alright. Oh, that was a little too easy. Well, here's your prize. And yeah, we got a piece of heart. You've collected four pieces of heart. We've extended our heart container to our... It's now full, four hearts. I was a little surprised whenever I saw the heart containers count at Gore's Bite, but now we're saved back up. Alright, so this mini game can only play after you've beaten Georg, and so that I've now knocked that out. I've knocked out everything that I want to do in Great Bay. Why did I jump in the water? Now that I've knocked out everything I can do at Great Bay, I am going to probably see you guys next in Akanya. There is, um, I'm going to go get back, go back and get that heart container off screen. And there's actually one more thing that I need to do. I don't know if I'll show it or not. It's kind of stupidity on, well, I mean, it's not stupidity. I still like the way I did it. But, um, alright, so look, remember way back when, like, one of the first heart pieces I ever got was that hand that I gave the paper to? Well, I actually did not have the bomber's notebook way back then. So, even though I still have the heart piece from it, that hand is not in the bomber's notebook. So, I have to redo that so he'll be in the bomber's notebook and I'll get a sticker. So, I'll probably show, just show me getting it and then I'll cut away to me being out of Kanya. So... Next time, guys, toilet heart piece, and then going to the new area. So I will see you guys then. Peace.